Hi, I'm Dustin and I'm the creator of Rapid Rig. And in this tutorial, I'll be going through Rapid Rig Modular's Generate Rig. So up to this point, we've um, created our proxies and looked at all the settings there. So I've gone ahead and you know, spent a bit more time fitting these to my character with the different uh, you know, joint counts and things I like. Got the face set up the way I'd like as well. So all this is ready to go. And so we'll look at the settings here. So the first thing you can do is choose whether you want to add a custom prefix to your rig name. Now, I generally don't recommend this, but if for some reason you need to have more than one rig in the scene, you could do it that way. Uh, or if you need a specific naming convention, but otherwise generally you reference rigs into scene. So they'll use the namespace to differentiate between the two. Uh, so I'll leave that off. And then the next thing we have is to create single hierarchy joint chain. So if you generate the rig without this, it's fine. You can uh, work with the skeleton that's built. However, it's not in a nice, clean, single hierarchy where all the joints are parented to each other. It's set up in a way that uh, it counteracts scaling issues and other things that could go wrong if you just stick with the basics. Now, if you want to create a single hierarchy, Joint chain is basically adds it in addition to the other ones. So you can always use one or the other if you turn this on. And then there are some additional settings. There's add trajectory joint, joint to this top of the uh, single hierarchy, which will put a joint right at the base here. And this is good for if you need to you know, have like root motion and orient your character in engine, something like in Unreal or Unity. Uh, then the next thing we have is freeze joint rotations. So uh, depending on your engine, if it has joint orients as something that's inherited or interpreted from the FBX or whatever file format you're exporting, you may or may not want to freeze your joints. This is on by default. Most engines work fine with this. Uh, the next one is joint scale. So you can connect all your joint scales. Uh, if you do, though, there may be some shearing and things that go on with like when the joints are stretching. Otherwise, it'll just use translation to do stretching. Scale stretching is more ideal, but again, if it's going to a game engine, you may or may not want that. So that option is there for you as well. And then there's use Unreal naming convention. So in Unreal, it expects the names to end in underscore L and underscore R. And by having it set with that, it's easier to mirror things like physics volumes and um, basically for mirroring, it's really useful and it just adheres to the naming convention. So if you're pushing it to Unreal, you may want to use that. And then the last thing we have is rotation order. So all your joints will be built based on whichever one of these X, Y, Z is the default. So when you're happy with all your settings, I'm going to go ahead and create a single hierarchy joint chain. Again, you don't have to, but this way I can demo it all together. And so now when I'm happy, I will go generate rig and now it will start building all the pieces and I can watch it build in real time. Depending on the complexity of your rig, it may take a while. So for example, it's now getting to the head controls and that could take a little bit longer depending on the complexity of the head um, and with the fingers, if you have like IK and all that stuff. Uh, so you just have to be a little bit patient and then you should get a pop-up saying you know, RM3 rig complete. Now, if you gave it a custom name, it would tell you the name of your custom rig and I'll hit okay. And it will select the main control for me. So now I have that and I can go ahead and move that around to fit uh, or to orient in my scene, probably after I bound the character. Now, if you want to start skinning, what you can do is, if this is cleared here, by default, as soon as you build a rig, it'll fill that in. But if that's empty, I can choose uh, this and I can say load rig and that will load in the rig. And now uh, I can go ahead and select my all my geos here, whatever I need. Uh, I have a little bit of bad naming there, but in any case, you can grab your geos, and then um, if you click on select skinning joints, it'll ask you, do you want to select the standard joints or the single hierarchy? And depending on which one you choose, it'll select. Now you notice I lost my initial selection there. So uh, if you grab those, and if you hold the shift key when you click select skinning joints, it'll add those to your selection. So now I have all that. So uh, I'm just gonna fix this up real quick. I'm gonna unparent there. I'll just move this there and get rid of this body eight. And I'll just call this body really quick. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this body old. There we go, just nice and quick, quick clean up here. So yeah, I'm gonna grab all my geo shifts like skinning joints and I'll say uh, single hierarchy. 
and then I'll just say uh, bind skin. And in your settings here, there's one thing you want to make sure you have chosen, which is selected joints. By having that on, it'll make sure it doesn't skin any of the extra joints that are in the rig, like IK okay, joints and other things like that. So just choose selected joints, seeing as how we selected them here. And then uh, whatever method you choose is fine. Um, I usually choose cool system hierarchy, or you might want to try geodesic voxel. Heat map is great if you have a closed off mesh. Uh, I'm just going to do something simple just for now, just to get uh, something skinned. Interactive distance, maybe I'll up my max influence to six. Uh, I'll turn off remove unused influences. Generally, I like to turn that off because Maya sometimes will remove geometry that you don't want it to. And then I'll just hit apply and close. And so now my character should be skinned. Now, obviously there's some skinning issues we have to resolve. For example, the, um, the trajectory joint is affecting it. So I could go in and you know select all my geo geometry, go to my paint weights tool, take the trajectory joint and I'll just uh, flood it all to zero. And there we go. So yeah, it needs a little bit of work, obviously. Um, oh, there we go. Gonna do a quick normalize here. Sometimes this gets a little funky. Skin normalize, enable normalization. Do it one more time just to make sure I got it. Okay, and then uh, this was a tip from someone else. Uh, apparently if you turn on use components, it'll hold the mesh and it won't freak out. But anyway, okay, so now we have our general character here. We'll turn off X-ray. And I can hide my joints if I like, so I just see my controls and I'll hide my other joints. Okay. So uh, that's how you build the rig. And if you're wanting to delete the rig, simply select any control on your rig and just choose delete rig and it'll go away.